Hello, and Mabu hi to all in attendance today. Today we join in a celebration of love, commitment, and devotion for two people we hold dear, Nicholas and Jennifer. Upon preparing for the ceremony, I was excited to learn that in Filipino culture, weddings are thought of as a union between two families. And for any of the Italians in the audience, you certainly understand that marrying one of us means marrying all of us. <laughs> so whether you're biological or chosen family, today is about us all coming together in a deeper way and forging bonds that will long outlast the ceremony. As the two eldest siblings in their respective families, I find it fitting that Nicholas and Jennifer are leading the way for our families when it comes to relationships and love, modeling for everyone in our generation what those look like in their most pure and sincere forms. As the younger brother, I've always been following Nick in some capacity. From our youngest days, he encouraged me to speak, even when he could barely say words himself. My nickname of Teebs came from him, the, co the closest a toddler could make to Stephen. When we would hike as a family, Nicholas would assess the trail and loudly declare how many people could hike shoulder to shoulder safely and would then act as the enforcer of his own edicts. Though suspiciously, the number would decrease if I tried to pass him. <laughs> Lessons in talking and hiking quick, uh, evolved, into, uh, evolved into riding a bike and swimming, and later skiing, driving, and calculus. Nicholas led the way for both Danny and I to follow him to USC, a defining period in all of our lives. Beyond the varied and impactful educational experiences we had as Trojans, it was our first time living outside the same home. But rather than grow apart, we grew even closer, vacillating between the roles of friend, mentor, confidant, and cheerleader as needed. Nicholas modeled himself into what the moment called for to help us through the rough patches and celebrate the high points. Even when he moved to West LA upon graduating, we had a standing Sunday night dinner, setting the foundation for our future closeness, even without being in immediate proximity. And now, though hundreds mi of, of miles separate Danny and Nicholas, and thousands of miles separate the two of us, I find the three of us as close as siblings can be. I joke that Nicholas sits on my board of directors, and he's always the first I turn to when I need an honest and strong opinion. I hope you take some of the accomplishments I've made in my life as a compliment to you. you know, <laughs> you've led a life worth following, and I admire the choices you've made, including the one you were making today. It thrills me to know that Jennifer's family shares a similarly strong bond and that she holds her relationship with her little brother Joseph just as dear. Anyone who knows Jennifer knows how deeply kind she is and, knows, and no one knows that better than Joseph. She was instrumental in helping her brother carve out his own career path. Early in Joseph's studies, Jen Jennifer secured a tour of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory for Joseph, cementing his love for science and technology and laying the foundation for his now remarkable career. And only a few years later, Jennifer helped Joseph land his first job out of college. Joseph credits his happiness and with his career and his, cement, his, his immense success in his current role to opportunities Jennifer provided. And he isn't shy to admit what every younger sibling knows. He wouldn't be where he is today if it weren't for his older sister. But it wasn't all business. Along the way, Jennifer taught Joseph how to have fun. Growing up... <laughs> Growing up, Joseph was introverted, but Jennifer was always able to coax him out of his shell. Despite being the, big, being the older sister, she was quick to include him with her friends, even when it wouldn't necessarily be the most fun thing to have a younger sibling tagging along. When Joseph was still in high school, Jennifer invited him to stay for a weekend at Stanford and exposed him to San Francisco, the height of cool for any teenager. <laughs> Jennifer also did Joseph perhaps the biggest favor a kid can imagine, eliminating the family curfew for him. <laughs> But while you can point to the many tangible ways Jennifer has helped Joseph navigate life's greater challenges, he cherishes most the small everyday interactions. Because of Jennifer, Joseph has been to almost every boba place in LA, <laughs> a drink he didn't even like at first, but now loves. <laughs> Jennifer can transform a simple trip to a movie theater into more of an adventure than anything they're watching on the big screen. Joseph knows that he can turn to Jennifer for anything and that she will always embrace him with the limitless love and compassion we all see in her. Nicholas and Jennifer, your incredible success as siblings, provides insight as to how you will be as spouses. 
Nicholas, you will bring a sense of adventure and unending curiosity to everything you do. He will be a bastion of support and resilience committed through thick and thin. Jennifer will bring a magnetic, joyful spirit and a kindness to all interactions. She will be a calming force in rough times and keep both of you grounded. And in both cases, your love and mutual support for one another will help you build a strong marriage and a beautiful family. Jennifer, you'll have to put some effort into keeping Nick patient. And Nicholas, you'll want to make Jennifer takes enough time for herself after caring for others so much. Undeniably, relationships are incredibly difficult and require constant investment and growth. However, we've all joined you here today as we know you two can do it. You will do it together. Before we begin the vows, I'd like to provide some context for how we got here in Nicholas's and Jennifer's own words. Jennifer and Nicholas met the traditional way, on Bumble. <laughs> Nicholas was attracted to her elegant beauty and some photos of her traveling, so he figured that was a good start. Jennifer thought Nick's profile exemplified a fun person, despite him being an accountant, and loved his wide smile in every photo. Nicholas, on the hunt to find the best Mexican food he could in West LA, a task much harder than one would hope, invited Jennifer to a Mexican restaurant, and she accepted. While the food was agreed upon as being just okay, the date was great. Nicholas was taken by her charm, her intelligence, and how easy he felt around her. Jennifer loved Nicholas's humor and lighthearted demeanor, and even got a taste of the goofiness she would come to adore. Jennifer su suggested that they get dessert afterward, and Nicholas thought, hey, this must be going pretty well. <laughs> Little did he know at the time, she probably just wanted dessert and could care less if he tagged along. Being overly confident from their sweet treat, when they said their goodbyes, Nicholas went in for a first kiss. And let's just say it ended awkwardly. Walking home that night, he thought he really messed it up. However, he was undeterred and asked if she wanted to go on a second date, which, spoiler alert, she accepted, despite his early blunders. Um, as dates turned into dating and as flirtations blossomed into deep affections, they began to realize their incredible compatibility and the significance of their feelings. Beyond the goofiness Nicholas first exhibited, Jennifer realized that he was also thoughtful, ambitious, and driven. She appreciated that his eagerness for adventures were, was also tempered by a calming spirit. Nicholas became enamored with Jennifer's overwhelming joyfulness and the excitement she seemed to inject into every experience, causing him to always smile and giggle. Nicholas found that Jennifer greeted even like smaller, more mundane moments, like a kid on Christmas morning, from getting a good meal, to going to a post dinner walk, to seeing an abandoned wig on the ground, a story Nicholas wishes there was more context for. <laughs> Soon enough, Nicholas and Jennifer were inseparable, and their lives became more intertwined. Neither Nicholas nor Jennifer can pinpoint the exact moment they fell in love, but both point to a collection of times that brought them unparalleled happiness. One day, upon Jennifer coming home from a night shift, Nicholas had set up an Easter egg hunt in the small one-bedroom apartment because Jen had mentioned that she had never really been able to participate in one. Despite scouring the apartment, Jen was unable to find the last egg, and somehow Nicholas had also forgotten where he had placed it. It did eventually show up months later, and in the most used and obvious of spaces, the dining table. Nicholas exposed Jennifer to rock climbing and backpacking for the first time and even brought her to a USC game despite her Stanford and UCLA allegiances. And in every instance, her participation was spirited. After purchasing a kayak, Nicholas suggested that they build a big fort using the boxes from, which, from the packaging, which ended up enduring for a few days and provided a cozy space to watch movies and cuddle. They grew up to thoroughly enjoy each other's spirits, care for each other's well-being, and want to dedicate their future to one another. They found a best friend and partner, and whenever they were around each other, they realized that the feelings the other inspired were unique to any other. Ultimately, the choice was obvious. With that, I turn it over to the two of you. Nicholas and Jennifer, this is your moment to de declare your vows to one another. Nicholas, let's begin with you. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm not often characterized as a very emotional or loving person. However, I have love for a lot of things. My family, my friends, and of course my dogs. <laughs> All of which are slightly different in nature, but none match the heights of my love for you, Jennifer. It's a love I've never felt before, one that is clearly life-changing. I think people are so willing to call this type of love indescribable because when I truly think about my love for you, I realize it has so many origins that it's hard to pin down. 
And my love for you comes from the second you walk through our door with your beautiful smile. That type of love is the light of my life, love. It comes from you, from your consistent request to do something chill and fun with which you are both. And that's our friendship, love. It comes from those moments when I look at you, whether you're in a ball gown or a nightgown, and say, wow, you're stunningly beautiful. That's our wow. I'm lucky to be with you, love. It comes from cuddling up with you, which brings a sense of pure bliss and is basically the only thing that keeps me in bed after 7 in the morning. <laughs> That's the ah, life is good, love. It comes from a shared respect for each other, a willingness to try new, new things for each other, and keeping each other's best interests in mind no matter what situation we are in. That's our respectful love. My love, our love, is fun, expansive, passionate, wholehearted, real, but most of all, it's special between the two of us. And even if I can't describe it fully here today, or no one here understands it, that's okay. Because I know it's never ending love, and that makes me happy. Jennifer, you may now make your promises. <laughs> Um, when I first met you, I didn't know what to expect, but little did I know that our first date would be to another and another and another, and here I am now standing in front of you reading our wedding vows. Little did I know on that day sharing stories over just okay Mexican food, I would meet the love of my life, the very person who I love for his thoughtfulness, his calming spirit, his drive, his goofiness, and his ability to inspire me to do better every day. Every single day is an exciting adventure with you, from our home misshapen pizza making endeavors, <laughs> to chasing super blooms, to our travel to parts unknown. And though the past year has been difficult, with both highs and lows, I promise to forever be with you through it all, to celebrate your joys and to support you through the hardships. I promise to love you and to cherish you. I promise to encourage you and to grow with you. And I promise to be silly with you and always have fun. I'm so excited to start this next chapter with you, and just like the last one, I know that it is going to be an incredible one. Today, Nicholas and Jennifer have chosen to honor their love with traditional Filipino elements, the candle, the cord, and the veil. Each has a symbolic meaning, and their performing of the ritual represents their mutual commitment to the values represented. The candle lighting symbolizes wisdom and guiding light to support Nicholas and Jennifer in their wedding. The cord is shaped in an infinity symbol to represent the bond of everlasting love and fidelity between the two couples, between the couple, and the veil is a symbol of their unity in marriage as Nicholas and Jennifer face the world as one. As is tradition, Nicholas and Jennifer have invited members of their families and friends to participate in the ceremony as sponsors. In marriage and in life, love cannot exist in a silo. It needs the nourishment and support of loved ones to stay strong. I ask that Misa and Tim please bring us the candles. Let these individual candles represent each of you and your unique selves. They symbolize who you are in this very moment, an accumulation of all your varied experiences, tribulations, and triumphs. By metaphorically lighting this third candle, you have created a union. Your two lights come together to create a singular new light, and with it, the pro a promise to one another. Your joint efforts have created something stronger and bolder. This is also a symbol of commitment because it takes both of your fires working together to keep it ablaze. Today, this candle is a symbol of hope. May its light and warmth guide you throughout your lives, in your love, and in your marriage. I ask that Emily and Brett should join us in the laying of the veil.
The act of laying the veil over you allows you to be close as one. Let this veil represent the, the support from friends and family who cover you in love in your marriage through good times and bad times. Let their love cloak you and make you stronger, ready to face whatever lies ahead. I now ask Lauren and Michael to place the unity cord over Nicholas and Jennifer. This cord symbolizes everlasting love and fidelity. Your love, like this cord, ties you together and intertwines your destinies. You are no longer two, you are united as one, stronger together in the face of adversity and capable of facing anything. Let this cord symbolize the strength of your love, an unbreakable bond which will only grow as time passes. Nicholas and Jen. <laughs> Nicholas and Jen, today you are choosing to celebrate your love wholly and unapologetically celebrating parts of your heritage and full selves. Let the veil represent the love that cloaks you and protects you both. Let the cord symbolize your infinite and unbreakable bond, and let the candle, whose light, whose light continues to burn, metaphorically, be a symbol of your courage and commitment to keep your love ablaze. I would now like to call back the sponsors to remove the cord and veil. Under the eyes of higher powers, Nicholas Anthony Stroza, do you take Jennifer Coating Casabar to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to support her completely and love her unconditionally so long as you both shall live? Yeah. Under the eyes of higher powers, Jennifer Coating Casabar, do you take Nicholas Anthony Stroza to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to support him completely and love him unconditionally so long as you both shall live? With your vows completed, it is now time to exchange rings. As unbroken circles, these rings symbolize the lifelong commitment into which you now enter. They should act as a daily reminder of the love you share and the promises you've made before us today. Nicholas, please re repeat after me as you place the ring on Jennifer's hand. I, Nicholas, give you, Jennifer, this ring as a symbol of love, of my eternal love and dedication. I, I, Nicholas, Jennifer, I <laughs> <laughs> From the top, I, Nicholas, give you, Jennifer, <laughs> this ring as a symbol of my eternal love and dedication. And dedication. With this ring, I thee wed. Jennifer, now you will do the same. I, Jennifer, give you, Nicholas. <laughs> this ring as a symbol of my eternal love and dedication. With this ring, I thee wed. By the power bestowed upon me by the state of California, I now pronounce Nicholas and Jennifer lawfully wedded. You may kiss and confirm your love and union. Friends and family, it is my pleasure to present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Nicholas and Jennifer.